the second installment of our discussion on being filled with the Holy Spirit is this idea, and I think that what I hear from a lot of people with regard to being filled with the Holy Spirit is that they're like, well, I don't want all that emotionalism. And I've heard that over and over again in my, in my Christian life and my life as a pastor, that one of the things that especially American evangelicals are afraid of is that is that their emotions would get carried away. Or then, then there's the, the flip side of that is that like, I don't care. I just want to have emotionalism. I just want to be all about the feelings in the moment. And that's really all that matters. And the truth is in between that, that if we just limit and say, no, 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 we're not going to, we're not going to have any of that emotional stuff, then we're basically going to X out a lot of activity of the Holy Spirit, because frequently when the Spirit of God comes, it will melt us and we'll feel emotions. And part of that is actually being truly and fully human. The Spirit will fill us. We'll feel the love of the Father. It will melt us. When the Spirit reveals the love of the Father to us, it melts us. If it doesn't, there's something wrong with us, not with what's wrong with, with, with the Spirit. And so what ends up happening is we, we can err on one or the other of the sides, that when the Spirit comes, frequently there's emotion, but it's not always emotion, and it's not always emotional. And we can get into emotionalism on the other side, where we just are like, we're just chasing that feeling, and we're, we, we want to have our, our arms raised in just such a, a certain way, so that we'll feel that, that special feeling that we felt last week when we were in worship. That's not it either. That the Spirit of God is going to is going to come into our lives and we will feel it when the Spirit is filling us. That's important to say and to acknowledge that the Spirit wants you to feel the love of the Father. The Spirit wants to reveal Jesus in a way that you feel Him, you sense Him, you know Him. But the feelings are not what it's about. That's emotionalism. And so I want to. I just want to ask you this week that you would just ask God to fill you and not be afraid and say, "Lord, I, I just I lay my emotions on the table. I, I know that you that you want to touch me, but I know that it's not about the touch itself. It's about my intimacy with you. Emotionalism or lack of emotion, where we want to be is in the middle.